welcome to its healthy mention channel so today we are going to see allen's philosophy so let's begin with the topic that is bacteria and the relationship to pathology first note here that here allen has told life force is equal to vital force and perversions are something which are abnormal so let's begin the doctrine of microorganisms strengthen the dynamic doctrine of animal the dynamic doctrine stated that disease is nothing more than the disturbance of life force that is vital force thus homeopathic remedy covers all the aspects of disease irrespective of its origin even to the microorganisms the life principle when restored or when the deranged life force resumes its normal function it puts an end to the existing of the perversions as to conclude that the disease that is expressions was due to the existence of that perversions they exist in this latent state just like the miasms which also exist in their latent state they microorganisms produce the disease due to the miasmatic load present at the background it is true for both chronic and acute miasms the scientists of the present time deny the dynamic aspect of vital force which animates the human organism they say it is a chemical entity only and they believe that they can see it even in a dead person when a bacillus was newly discovered they immediately declared that the cure to disease the causa morbi must be destroyed this sort of treatment did not bring down the mortality rate nor did it decrease the disease phenomena therefore diseases like smallpox tb were increasing day by day the toxic effects of the remedies plays havoc on the economy of the patient making the disease condition worse the scientists should perceive in depth the miasmatic dynamics as told by hanneman the miasm is imprinted in every individual from right from the birth second the miasms are responsible for the perversions taking place in the body the miasms cause functional and structural changes in the body when the disease sets the tubercular miasm which is a blend of two miasms of sora and syphilis causes different diseases either functional or structural here professor virjo has explained something that is the changed cell function can only be seen when it gets pathologically the father of cellular pathology professor virjo advocated that the structural change begin in the cell thus how does the cell become diseased when there is no external apparent cause the answer is the bacteria so if we ask what is the source of the bacteria their origin and existence the answer is they are product of inheritance professor virjo says he found no evidence that tb was inherited even his microscopic investigations did not find any trace in the unborn baby although he admitted that it could acquire the disease one day after birth professor virjo did not see the potentiality behind the cell which when altered causes the disease to manifest it was only dr hanneman who recognized the dynamic aspect of the disease made it possible to understand it and in a better manner without dr hanneman's instruction it would be impossible to comprehend it allen's way of explanation is totally philosophical way just to read two to three times to understand his notes so i have made in a simplified manner you can understand easily thank you for watching